Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial on how you can fine tune Llama 2 uh, model on your post on a collab notebook. So this video was inspired by another uh, video that I saw on YouTube by one little coder. I will link that video uh, in the description below, but that uh, included fine tuning on a data set that is already available. Now this is fine tuning on your own data set. So I'll uh, go through how you can create your own data set and fine tune plus some things that you don't want to load from the notebook I'll also link this uh, collab also in the description to follow along so I already have almost everything loaded and running so uh, What you need is transformers library the accelerate and the PEFT library. This is for uh, uh, Culora training which is performance efficient fine-tuning of the model uh, bits and bytes to load it in 4 bit and 1, uh, 1 dB to uh, have the model uh, weights and biases somewhere tracked if you want to. If you don't want to uh, track it, if you want your data to stay here and you don't want it to communicate anywhere, you can just not install it. All right. I already have this installed. So if I run it, it will say it's already installed. Okay. It will not run because my training is running. And then I load my custom training data. So my custom training data is in this format. So the data is in the format of input and label. So the input and what the output should be. Like here you can see the input is how uh, high can you, can you help me? And the label is certainly what is it that you need help with? Then what I do is I just up sample the data a bunch because I only have 40 lines of uh, custom data written. So I just multiplied by 100 so it just repeats itself uh, multiple times uh, and then i uh, load the data set from hugging face the data set library and i create my data set so in my training data uh, the prompt starts with human and the input and the completion is starts with assistant and label and i create a training data with a prompt completion pair like prompt and then completion pair and this is from TD, so TD is the upsample data, and then I create the data set from data set from list string data. So pretty simple, you create your data set, and then I load the model. I've already loaded the model into the system, uh, the Llama 2B, uh, and I load the four bit is equals to true. So this is why you need this library, which is the bits and bytes, because you want to load it in the four bit format. If you don't know four bit, 16 bit, 32 bit, and 64 bit, then probably you need to learn a bit more about you know how models are quantized and how they reduce in size and yeah and then we also load the tokenizer for model because you need the tokenizer because the models actually don't read text that read tokens so you need to encode and then decode again here we see the model so this is a handy function which you can use to see how many parameters there are in the model how many are trainable parameters and how many are not trainable parameters so as you can see, roughly 7.5% of the parameters of, the, of Llama 2 are trainable here that we are loading. And here is the left config. So the, here is the LoRa alpha, which is the rank, how much dropout there should be. So uh, sorry, the, here is the rank, which is the R. And here's the LoRa config. You can you know, free to read more about the LoRa config. I'll make a YouTube video on this one as well to explain more of what these terms actually are. And we load the trainer. We'll be using the SFFT trainer from TRL library. Um, this gives a wrapper on the Transformers trainer. So we can use the trainer from Transformers library as well, but this is just a wrapper there. Uh, here you define where you want to store the results. What is the batch size? Four and four. You have to keep this very low because you're training on a collab notebook. So you don't have much GPU to play around with. But if you do have access to a larger GPU system, then uh, feel free to increase it. What is the optimizer? What are the saving steps, logging steps? What is the learning rate? Uh, you can have a bit high learning rate here because you are uh, fine tuning the model, you know, uh, lower. Uh, but if you are actually fine tuning, full fine tuning, I would recommend using a lower learning rate. And this is the number of epochs, and this is the warm up ratio, which is the warm up learning rate, warm up ratio. And the schedule type is constant here but uh, you can change it if you know what you're trying to do. So you add it all into the training arguments and then 
we also have to format our prompts because uh, the, the model expects it as one complete piece of text. So here we do the formatting. So in the range of prompt, we do a prompt and completion pair with uh, in one line the prompt and then the next line completion pair. So we have this formatting and then we invoke the trainer from SS50 trainer and uh, we pre-process the module. So uh, by upcasting the layer norms and float. So I don't know much about this part of the code because this is also a notebook which was taken from Falcon, uh, fine tuning Falcon. Uh, so this was there. So I haven't touched it because to be honest, I don't know what this part really does. So I'll leave it and then you call the training. So as you can see, the training is running and you can see the train loss goes each epoch till 100. And this is just a sample of how the training loss should look like. Uh, let me paste what training loss looked like for me. Just one second. Uh, if I go to my home in Weights and Biases and I go Nietzsche's. All right. So. Uh, I don't know if you can paste in Google Colab, but let me just try. Okay, you can't. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just uh, give me one second. So this is what it should look like, and this is what it uh, has. Oh, let me just. Uh, can I? Can I try? Save to desktop and let me just upload it here. Let me upload desktop. Okay, and then let me just call the name it is ING. If I remember, the markdown is uh, slash. Should be like this. Okay, so this is not a markdown. Forgetting how to do it, but uh, if I can, okay, all right, this also works. So this is what my loss looked like while I was doing the training, and this is just to model to save the models, and then you get the LoRa configs, and uh, this is from the earlier. So this is also an early. So let's just see. Uh, let's just give it a text as high. I have kept the max sequence set lower at 128 because I don't think I'll be asking things which will go beyond 128 length, but feel free to play around with this one. And then let's just ask it to uh, hi. Let's see what it outputs. Ideally, it should output how I can I help you. OK, so the output is not really great because of on good training, uh, but let's say, uh, do you know what? Uh, so this is one of the questions which was there in the training set. So let's see if uh, it can output it. You know what grading is, nobody does. I'm not sure what you mean by grading. Uh, let's see. Let's just reduce its token size. 
And let's format this a bit better. Uh, let's uh, say that a human is asking. Mm, and then we say, and then we say, So, do you know what grading is? Assistant, no, nobody does. Okay, and then it completes with human, it's a process of grading words. Okay, so not so good. I wanted it to say something else, but it did not. It basically means that the fine tuning is not complete and you need more data to fine tune this one. Uh, we don't have that much data available here. So, uh, but you get the idea of how you can really fine tune the LAMA 7 uh, billion parameter model on a single Colab notebook without additional need of any GPUs or so. Uh, probably the 4-bit model doesn't perform so well and you need a lot more data and a lot more epochs to train it pretty well. Uh, if you play around with these and add more data to it, it will probably work and it will give you the output that you really need. Okay, that's all that I wanted to show in this uh, tutorial. Uh, let me know anything that you want to learn about uh, large language models and how you can train them and fine tune them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and do subscribe.